Hello and welcome to my channel. This is a throwback Thursday to my Hawaii journals that I made two years ago. We took a 30th wedding anniversary trip to Maui and took all of our children. So I ended up making seven journals, uh, given four away. And these are the three I've kept for myself. We were in Maui for one week that trip, so I used this journal. And I'm going to just share with you how I use a journal. And I kind of was thinking before I wrote in it that that might be a possibility that I was going to be willing to share it. So I kept any of the text and journaling entries very uh, boring. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And these two I'm going to keep for future trips. Of course, we thought we'd be able to go back again in six months and so on and so on. That wasn't to be the case though because the world changed, but they are waiting for future trips and I'm really excited to use them one day. So I'm gonna start with this one here and it's my personal journal. I found this adorable fabric. I think it was at Joann's and I used it for my three journals because I just thought it was so cute. I have three daughters and it had these three little hula girls on it. How adorable is that? And the one that I made for my married daughter, I did it uh, two signatures because it was for her and her husband. And the other two daughters, I gave them traveler's notebook sizes and used pretty much the same um, digital kits, fabric covers. And I used either fi uh, fiber or the silk sari ties, closures. Pretty much the same uh, paper packs from Graphic 45, the Tropical Travelogue, I think it's called. And I do believe they still sell it. Beautiful images. I love it because it's the old vintage Hawaii. And in my notes here, I've got, this is what I keep, is just a bit of a, binder thingy on um, elements that I use for my journals because I forget if I don't do that. I know that I used um, Deli Girl Creations, which is Cheryl. She's closed her shop, I believe, so I don't even know if you can get hers anymore, but I used her Hawaii 1 and Hawaii 2 kits. And in my notes here, it says I've used TLC Creates Vintage for digital kits as well. So if you see them, the digitals, and you like them, check out those two places. So what I've got on the outside is just a one of the postcards from Graphic 45, some of the chipboard pieces, put a little bit of Swarovski crystals on there, the um, chipboard tag here. I did some muslin in the background there, backing it, a bit of trim, grassy-like trim. I sewed the fabric onto Craftex, which is my favorite cover base. And what I did for mine was I used the Tim Holtz chain link thing and uh, just put a, a gathering of charms on each of my journals and then just some little beads at the ends of the strings. And let's go inside. Tea dyed papers, of course. So uh, other paper that I had, I can't remember what the name of it is, but I do believe I got it on scrapbook.com years ago because I don't know, Hawaii stuff was really hard to find. Seems a little bit more plentiful now, but that's what I used uh, for the inside covers for sure. And I made this flip out pocket thing. So you've got one, Two, oh, lots of spaces. Made some giant tags out of index cards here. And I chose not to write on them yet because I can take this folder with me and pop it into the next journal. I did make, for all seven journals, about 50 tags. And what I did was I sprayed them and had a lot of fun spraying and painting and stamping and putting on some glitzy ribbon and die cuts and so forth. So that's where those are from. So yeah, I guess this is a flowing pocket. 
And let's see, I think I need to move up a little bit here. <clears throat> I love the flowers, of course, the hibiscus, absolutely beautiful. So I just start in the beginning, you know, basically did our itinerary and the weather and where we stayed, blah, blah, blah. Some um, die cuts I had. Yeah, I don't know the name of those. They do a lot of Disney ones, though. Super pretty. Plumeria stamp I have from um, Heartfelt Creations, and I do have a bunch of other Hawaii stamps. So flight information, this and that. Because it was our anniversary, we did a lot of um, not outings, yeah, adventures, whatever. And yeah, it was amazing. We we rented a villa, three bedroom villa with a full kitchen, and it was fabulous. We just had such a wonderful time. I used some of the brochures and made side pockets. Tuck spaces, got some postcards while I was there. And these I can take out again and use in another journal for the future. Little flip downs with some of my notes on there. I didn't journal on every page because sometimes the I press hard and it goes through the page a little bit. So yeah, I kind of take it or leave it. And I got some cute uh, stationery while I was there, one of our trips. Yeah, love the colors, love the colors of this. And some more Graphic 45, just folded two postcards together and made a little booklet. Basically, that's what I do. Ohana means family and this was a family trip. Another tag that I made. And I did some gold embossing on the edges. Postcard with writing on the back. And we had our, our special meal at Mama's Fish House in Maui. Favorite restaurant in the world. It is just phenomenal. And of course, because we'd made reservations months in advance, they did a special card for us. It was so beautiful and thoughtful, so I included that in here. I just kind of filled it as as I went along and I would sit out on the lanai every morning of course I'd get up at like five or six o'clock because of the time difference they're behind us three hours behind us on the west coast here so I had lots of time to watch the sunrise and write in my journal and have my coffee and it was paradise here I have a fold over card straddling the two page the page just some stamping on there and yeah I just used a cute little paper clip that's a palm tree love stamping if you follow my my channel or my Instagram or Facebook accounts you'll see that I do a lot of rubber stamping for me that was a huge thing when I discovered you know, a sophisticated rubber stamping probably about 25 years ago. And it still gives me that aha moment every time I see an image appear on the page. It's just amazing how it helps to tell the story. Another postcard. These are actually little tuck spots here. So you could tuck something additional in there. Another tag that I made with the gold embossing. Some stationery that I've journaled on, similar to this side, postcard, and these little wooden beads, I got those in Hawaii, thought they were pretty cool, I think I bought a bracelet and just repurposed it, some more stamping and writing. Postcard, journaling card, lots of journaling. I love these vintage images, just so beautiful. And a ticket, parking ticket from where we, we uh, visited one day at Blackrock. 
little booklet that I've stamped in. Haven't journaled in this one yet either. In each journal, I did a little, a small booklet. And the Grand Wailea, we all had spa day together. That was fabulous. And a postcard, some journaling, and an envelope. And each of the envelopes, I had cut up magazines of things to do or um, interesting trivia and things that are unique to Hawaii. Some of our favorite restaurants that we enjoy going to. just put some well you know how you get those Honolulu cookies I would cut up the the boxes and just use them somehow they're so unique to Hawaii this little paper clip has a um oh sheesh flamingo on it more postcards and a journaling car Ocean hair, salty. Ocean air, salty hair. Some more journaling. Typical things. We rented stuff, snorkeling gear from Snorkel Bobs, and I just kept the some of the little cards and things that we got when we were there. Some more stationery. This is a booklet. That I haven't written in yet. As you can tell, we had a wonderful time. Who doesn't? Right? Just relaxing, enjoying the beautiful weather and the scenery. It, it is paradise. Nothing like it. Cute little tag that I did with some spraying. Beautiful lay. This is another cool idea. I guess I attached this one here. It is, you take one page, like an eight and a half by 11, and you cut it up, and then you just make pockets onto it and score it and fold it. I forget who I learned that from. Probably uh, G. Kerr. I, I seem to recall just watching a whole lot of her videos and trying out some of the pockets and folders. Just thought they were so unique. Some of the snacks you get on the plane kept the wrappers because they're so colorful. Plane ticket, boarding pass, I mean, and journaling card. All right. And then this is a tuck spot under here. That's what I did. And the last page, some more of the beautiful paper. So what I'll do is I'll do a quick flip of the other two. They're very much the same, but I'm not gonna talk because it'll go quicker this way.
And number three. And that's it. That's all for today. My throwback Thursday to September 2019. Hope you are inspired and this has given you some ideas to create something tropical for yourself. Thanks for watching.